The mission of the Galveston Bay Dolphin Research Program is to better understand the dolphins that live in the Galveston Bay estuary. We study the ecology, behavior, and health of the population, and we raise public awareness about dolphins. The Galveston Bay Dolphin Research Program is a partnership between Galveston Bay Foundation and the Environmental Institute of Houston at the University of Houston Clear Lake. All of the research we do is conducted under a NOAA scientific research permit uh, so that we can approach the dolphins and take their photos. So in Galveston Bay, we have bottlenose dolphins. Uh, they're the common dolphin that you see pretty much all over the world. Dolphins are a flagship species, which means that people care about them and they're really noticeable and good bioindicators of how the bay itself is doing and its health. My favorite part about the job is going out and learning more about individuals in the bay um, and where they are and what they're doing um, and tracking them over time. By going out there and finding the dolphins where they live, we're able to take photos of their dorsal fins and that way we're able to identify individuals by small nicks and notches in their fins. And identifying individuals is a really important part of population biology so that we know how many are out there and can learn a lot more about their lives. Citizen scientists are a really important part of the Galveston Bay Dolphin Research Program. Our volunteers help us out on the boat during observational surveys, and they also help run our dolphin research and outreach station here at Seaboard Park. Some of them are focused on the dolphins, so they observe dolphins, report data about what they're doing. They also take photographs for individual identification. And then we have an outreach volunteer who walks around the park and engages with the public, with both park visitors, with fishers, talks about dolphin safe viewing tips and dolphin safe fishing tips. So over the last 10 years, we've been collecting continuous standardized data, uh, which is really important because that allows us to answer important questions about the population. So we have learned quite a bit about the environmental factors that affect the population, their distribution in the bay, their movement patterns, and we've also been able to identify a resident population. We now know that some dolphins are long-term residents of Galveston Bay. Uh, we've also seen an increase in community engagement with our program. Uh, people are responding well to our messaging, to our outreach materials, and we have a growing citizen science program, so we do take volunteers out on our boat surveys, and we also involve them in our land-based monitoring, and it's been really great to see um, just a lot of enthusiasm from the community to be involved with dolphin research. And we've also seen an interest from national uh, organizations, from nonprofits, from federal government. They're really interested in our dolphin population uh, because Galveston Bay is a really busy place and our dolphins are uh, exposed to a lot of different threats. So there are several ways to be involved with the Galveston Bay Dolphin Research Program. Uh, first of all, we just invite you to be informed uh, and you can do that by visiting our website at galvestonbaydolphin.org and signing up for our newsletter. We send out quarterly updates about our research um, and our events and include a lot of information about Galveston Bay Dolphin. So it's a great way to keep up with what we do and please spread the word about what you learn about our dolphin population. I'm just so excited to see how much this program has grown. It started as just Vanessa and I uh, wanting to learn more about the dolphins here in the Bay and in the area where we really knew nothing about what they were doing and, and how they were surviving here. And it has just grown to be this amazing program. Uh, we have students, we have interns, we have volunteers. We have so many supporters who have given a lot to this program over the years. I want to give a special thank you to all of our program donors, uh, especially those that adopt and name dolphins through our adoption program. Uh, some of you have been supporters for years and follow your dolphins for years, and we are just really appreciative of all your support. Thank, thank you! you.